Yo champions, meet Lucky. Lucky is currently expert class 3 and they are claiming that they deserve masters. You already know how this goes. I gathered 9 master players from my discord, put them all into a custom match and we're going to see once and for all if Lucky deserves masters. Champions, if you want to be involved in any of my fun content that I do, all you have to do is be a subscriber and join the discord. Link to that will be in the description. But without further ado, take care and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, game 1 is now underway so our expert player will be going into the jungle. Um, there is a Sableye on the orange team, so yeah, they're already going in for the invade. Have they used their X speed already? If they even have it, what are they running? Okay, they do have X speed, but they didn't need to use it. Can they get the, the secure the last second? Oh, they can. That's dirty. That's really dirty. Okay, uh, one of the Eevees is here to... I think they're helping them out, yeah. They know that Sableye is going to be lurking around the corner. Honestly, Sableye just wanted that blue buff and has completely and utterly just dipped. Oh, can they chase down the Azu? Azu's on 1 HP. Okay, Ashi manages to survive, grabs the berry as well. But Sableye does need to be careful here, though. Okay. Can Leafon get the last hit? I think they did. I'm not too sure. Okay, our expert player is still in their jungle, still clearing it. Sableye really setting them back by taking their blue buff as well. What's happening over in bot lane? Okay, so they're all hiding out in the bushes right now. Birds are going to be spawning in the next couple of seconds. Sableye, there's the icon. So Sylveon knows that Sableye is lurking nearby. Slowbro, unfortunately, not going to get majority of the farm and won't be able to um, evolve either. Okay, so what's going to be happening here? Okay, our expert player is just roaming around right now. Not really making any plays at the moment. Only has a red buff to work with as well. Yeah, we see Sableye is already going back into their jungle. But but um, our expert player isn't there at all. So Sableye is going to be... Okay, getting distracted with an Azu. Ooh, the... I don't know what that move's called. I forgot the name. Zen Headbutt? No, they don't have Zen Headbutt yet. Oh, that's his tackle. Yeah, that's his early move tackle. Not gonna um, connect on the Sableye. Okay, over in top lane. Azu needs to be careful. Pops to X, uh, X speed. Gonna retreat back to base. And Sableye, once again, going back into the jungle. Trying to be really sneaky and steal the, um, the blue buff. He might just get away with this. Okay. Doesn't manage to secure it. Pops to X speed. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be able to escape. Okay, our expert player going in for the buzz in a 1v1 with the Absol. Oh, but Kabaskin is here, so it turns into a 2v1, 3v1, actually. He was... Okay, notice how only the expert player rotated mid. Only the expert player rotated mid. I, I want everyone to take a note of that. No other Masters player on their team went mid with them, so that's interesting. Okay, Curly is only level 5. going to be here in level 6 soon as well. Everyone waiting in the bushes again for these birds. It is a 4... Okay, 4v4 in bot lane. Okay, this is a party. Okay, Sable on really low HP. Can Metagos confirm the kill? Confuse Ray. Gonna be able to CC him. Okay, he needs to... Oh, he needs to back up. This is too aggressive. This is way too aggressive. Okay, but Leaf, I'm gonna provide him with backup. Magnet Rise? Or oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, he's playing too aggressive. The Confuse Ray from Sable, like, honestly, doing a lot of work as well. Sable like, coming in once again. Good overheat by the Blaziken. And Absol is going to confirm the kill on Slowbro. The backshot king is back at it again. What Reggie... St is it? Oh. <laughs> it's a Reggie still. By the way, guys, this video is... Um, this video was recorded on the same day I recorded my... Um, great Players Deserves Masters. If you guys watched that video, you know that Reggie still was spawning all day for every single match. So I find it pretty funny that it's a Reggie still again. So the backshot king going to secure Reggie still again. Absol uh, as we're going to get taken out by the Sableye. Slope again completely CC'd. And Sylveon is the last one to defend their base. Leafion coming in. Has a unite move. It's going to be huge. Takes out one. Oh, but it stops there. Leafion almost making an absolute play. That might be due to the stacks. Or maybe they just didn't um, execute their play properly. They should have went for the Razor Leaf. And then oh, called the Razor Leaf. And then that would have completely wiped out everyone. Good eject by the Absol. Going to retreat. Honestly, these Confuse Rays into the Overheat combos have been absolutely insane, by the way. Okay. So, our veteran, veteran, sorry, uh, expert player has decided to just go top lane. He is stacking as well, so he's going to get all of those stacks in, in top lane. Sableye lurking around the corner as well. He wants to get his 30 dunks in. He's going to go for it now. Okay, he has, he, okay, he has revealed himself by going for the berries. Okay, our expert player in a 1v1 with the Blazer King. Can he get a kill? No, he gets taken out by the Blazer King, but Leafion will be able to shut him down. Sableye Unite going to be... Hitting absolutely no one, not too sure who is here, aiming at the cracks on the floor. 
Okay, and he's going to steal their berry once again. And meanwhile, in bot lane, we see Greninja and the God War kind of just hanging out. You can tell that Greninja wants to get those 40 dunks in. Kind of just waiting for the Slowbro and the Sylveon to leave their pad so he can sneak in and get that dunk. While um, there's no one there. Metagross just full on running into that bush. Not even loading up an attack or anything. Just using it. And pops a Unite move while they had 1 HP. Sylveon tries to pop an Eject. Not going to make it out. But Mystical Fire is going to enable them to escape Metagross' domain expansion. So that could have been really... Um, scary for the Sylveon because that eject button didn't um, you know travel far, uh, far enough for them to escape okay what's the play here we need to see Leafeon use you know a better Unite move than we saw last time because that should have been all of their all of their kills they were really low HP and they're low HP again okay Absol attacking thin air right now there's a Unite move good eject okay Greninja's been taken out Absol still alive on 1 HP okay Sableye surely gets taken out here right Okay, but Blaze gets hot on Leafeon's um, tail. Metagross is coming in. Okay, Gyro Ball not going to connect, but Sylveon does get taken up by the Backshot King. Okay, Blaze again. Okay, good good backline from the Guard of War. Okay, Slowbro now has his Unite move very, very late into the game, but finally has that Unite move. Honestly, I say you Unite the um, Blaze King or Absol. Anytime, maybe? Or is, he, or is he holding on to it? He's holding on to it. Okay, and got taken up by the Blaze King's overheat. Okay, as we pop in the Unite move, manages to catch the um, Blaziken, securing the kill, trying to secure the kill on the Guard of War as well, but gets hit by the Confuse Ray and going to get shut down by the Absol. Our best friend player is the lone defender, actually leaving their base entirely, even though he knew that the whole of Orange team was here. And now there's going to be some huge dunks as well. Yikes, I think our best friend player should have stayed in bot lane for just a little bit longer because there's no way he didn't know that Orange team was still lurking around the corner. Okay, Sylveon going to secure that, even though Greninja popped that Unite move. And Snowbird is going to pop his own Unite move to secure the kill on the Greninja. So nicely done, because that is the only Unite move he's used um, this whole game. So the next one we're going to see will happen at the Ray fight. Metagross once again popping the Unite move before Ray gets... Um, no, what was it? Metagross, that's the second time they popped their Unite move and then just died instantly. I don't know why I was talking about Ray. I know Ray's spawning in a minute, but <laughs> we're not talking about Ray just yet. Okay. Damn, they're really chasing down this Greninja. But God was providing some good backup, though. Okay. I just came back and I see another Greninja. There's a lot of Greninja players um, today for some reason. I don't know what's happening. This is like the Greninja verse. Okay. Metagross wants to play. They've been playing aggressive the whole game. They've been playing absolutely aggressive every single game. Okay, what's happening in top lane? Oh, Blaziken and Sableye take out the uh, the Leafeon. I'm surprised that Blaziken's not going for a back cap there as well with the Sableye. Because that would have went in. Okay, what's our expert player doing? Okay, he gets hit by the Absol. Can he escape? Okay, Magnet Rise. And the Berry as well. Nice. They should be able to escape. Oh, but Sableye is there though. The, the Speed Berry going to help him. But he is in enemy territory. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him surviving this. Gyro Ball to stall them for a bit. Yikes. Focus Band did, um, did pop, but I don't want to keep him alive. He's out of the game for 10 seconds here. Orange team can't shred or anything, so Absol's just going to try and bait them in just by getting a couple hits on the Ray. The Greninja as well. Sableye's been actually playing really well. Just um, being a menace, CC in their backline. They need to be careful here because if Greninja keeps attacking it, Ray's going to get into range for like um, for the purple team to actually start flipping it with them. And you don't want that to happen, especially since Orange team is in the lead. So if I was purple team, I'd keep on hitting Ray just so it doesn't regen. Quick intermission champions, if you've made it this far and you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing. It helps your boy out a lot. We just hit 2.1k subs. You guys have been showing me a lot of support and it's honestly insane. So the sooner you smash that subscribe button, the sooner it will be for a new upload. But champions, take care and enjoy the rest of the video. What's our expert player doing? Looking at the map, our expert player is nowhere to be seen right now. That's a huge Unite move coming up from the Leafeon. God, we're gonna catch the Leafeon as well up on the landing. You could say God of War caught Leafeon on the volley. Okay, Sylveon popping the Unite move. Our, vet, our expert player kind of just sightseeing, picking up Aeos coins, uh, Aeos energy. Chasing down Absol. Okay. Absol can't defend this. Yeah, there's no way Absol can defend. He can go for a What is this ego? What is this L ego? Oh my. Yeah. Nah. What? Again, another Unite before death. What did I just see? What did I just see? There was no need for him to chase. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. So what's the play? 
Raise below half. Oh, he's regen now. Purple team, they're not making any plays. I feel like when Orange team was attacking Ray for them, they should have just full on flipped it. Oh, Absol's coming in now. God of War takes out the Azu. Sylveon on low HP. Absol gonna confirm the kill. Leafion in the back lines. Okay. Oh, Orange team wanna shred? No, they're not. They know they don't, they don't need to. Can they take out Absol? Oh, Leafion folded. Leafion absolutely folded. They choked. 18 seconds left on the clock. They need to go for back caps. Purple team, you need to go for back caps. That's a good kill. Oh, but Greninja's there. Yeah, Greninja knows that Leafion's around the corner. Pops an eject as well. Leafion will not be able to get that dunk in. Bot lane, maybe? Nah, they're not going to get that in either. Save like just spinning on them. <laughs> and that's going to be GG's. Okay, and there's the stats for the first game. Our expert player only getting the one kill. And I don't know if you guys saw that. That was the kill that he got at the end on Sableye. When Sableye was kind of just spinning around griefing. Let's take a look at the stats. Yikes, only dropping 30k. Pretty much doing... Okay, I was going to say that was the lowest in the lobby. But Azu over here dropping 28k. Yikes. Honestly, the whole team struggled a lot. But we're going to see if anything changes in game two. The final round is now underway. Okay, so they're going for Dragonite this game. So, honestly, I can tell by their playstyle. Oh, something going wrong here. Oh, they missed again. Okay, yo. Oh. <laughs> they missed three times in a row. They went back to back to back. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. Oh, now they're getting invaded because of that. Do you know what's crazy? If they didn't miss <laughs> three times, they would have been able to secure the blue buff. Oh, no. Okay. Well... I think we just have to keep on spectating the jungle invade at this point. Is Mammoth Swine going to leave? Okay, yeah, they're going to leave. They took the blue buff and they've left. Okay, they don't need to cause any more havoc in their jungle. You could say that was unlucky. Of lucky. Okay, let me stop talking. Anyways, so Orange Team's jungler has rotated bot lane. Zorak posing as a slow bro. Okay, going to break out the illusion. Okay, we don't see many A9 players. So honestly, this is going to be interesting to watch. Are they going to go Blizzard Avalanche or... Aurora, I believe they're going to go Blizzard Avalanche. Okay. Applying a lot of pressure here on Purple Team's base. But Purple Team are still looking really healthy right now. But meanwhile, in top lane, we have our expert player, who is still a Dratini. Playing very aggressive, just in, just out about in the front lines. I don't know why they're doing that. They need to be careful because they're only level 4. And they don't even have a Wigglytuff available as well. I'm not too sure who took that back bow toy, but... Oh no, Mammoth Swine is coming in again for the blue buff. Coming in again for that blue buff. Perfectly timed as well. What is it looking good? X speed, eject button, nothing. There's nothing he can do. And the purple team are, are, are completely unaware of this as well. Someone needs to help the Jotini. Somebody needs to help the Jotini. Mammoth Swine is wreaking havoc in the jungle. Taking absolutely everything away from them. That's what Mammoth Swine gets his two. Oh my god. Okay, not going to miss that Dragon Breath that time, so... Maybe our expert player can get the kill. The reverse? Oh, the dragon. He dragon danced away. He should have dragon danced in. Okay, Wigglytuff is there to support. Okay, this is what we needed. Don't let him escape. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm happy for our expert player. I really wanted them to get that kill. Because I was starting to get a bit embarrassing. Okay. Oh, Zora, good combo. Takes out. I say good combo. <laughs> Fade attack is very easy to use. Um, good kill on the Combuskin. Okay. Also, um, to all the Zorak mains out there, what's the difference between using your faint attack quickly as opposed to using it slowly? Because that's one thing I've noticed about some Zorak players. Oh, this Zorak player's going crazy, though. The Unite move into the double kill, into the triple. Yo. Okay, okay, Pragopo. I see you, okay? He's on demon time right now. But as I was saying, what's the difference between using your faint attack combo slower uh, as compared to, like, quickly? Because one thing I've noticed, there was one Zoroark, he did the combo on me, like, slowly, and I was just getting CC'd. As opposed to when they do it quick, I feel like I don't get CC'd. I don't know. I'm not a Zoroark main or fanatic in the slightest, so that's why I'm asking you guys this question. Okay, Telekinesis is going to pull him away. Blaze Surely Blaziken secures this. Okay, Blaziken didn't even load up the overheat. That came out really late. Okay. What's happening here? Okay, they're both just backing up. Meanwhile, in top lane, let's see what Sizzle's going to do. I love watching some sizzle gameplay. Even though it's a very like easy and basic mod, it's just fun to like, you know, watch. 
Especially with a Hooper as well. With the hyperspace soldiers keeping the sizzle healthy pretty much 24-7. And looking at the map, we see Mammoth Swine going back in for that blue buff. Not too sure if he got it. Uh, where's our expert player? They're here somewhere. They're going to be pulling up. Good overheat. That's a lot of damage. Okay, Sizzle Pops a Unite move. Oh, but they're completely surrounded. They're going to get shut down by the Blaziken and the rest of the team. Mammoth Swine taking out our expert player once again. And do you know what's crazy? Mammoth Swine wasn't even targeting in that time. Oh, what's happening here? Are they kissing? What's happening? <laughs> Yo. Get a room, man. Get a room. Okay, so as I was saying, the Mammoth Swine wasn't even targeting the, um, who was it? Uh, the Dragon, they just ran into each other in mid. Okay, so it looks like our Zorok player has lagged out, but I think they are coming back because they are moving on the map. Okay, Reggie Lecky has been secured by the purple team. I'm still getting a triple kill. And Reggie Lecky will be pushing into their base. Oh, this ain't looking good, especially with Zorok having um, disconnected as well. Okay, it looks like he has made it back. Yikes, that did cost them quite um, quite a lot of points as well and some XP. The fact that Zorak wasn't there in the fight. I really, I truly thought the Zorak and Hooper were making out uh, in top lane. As I, as I do say time and time again, top lane is couples lane. Remember that. If you go top lane with your duo, just know it's couples lane, okay? Whether you like it or not. So, for those of you that are struggling to, you know, pick up girls, just invite, some, invite a girl to play with you or a guy. And, you know, invite them to a plane and, you know, you'll see success. Okay, Hooper pops the Unite move. A9 responding with a Unite move of their own. Snowball Unite coming out on Zoro, but there's no follow-up. So Zoro will survive. Snowball, the last one standing on Purple Team. And that is going to be a team wipe. And this will be a free Regirock for the Purple Team as well. Good Hooper pull as well for them to all use once they have secured this. Dragonite. Oh my god. Imagine if Dragonite secured that last second. That would have been good, actually. Not going to lie. That would have been absolutely goaded. Okay. Who was going to start TPing his team into top lane? Mammoth Swine. Don't tell me he's 1v1. -ing. Okay. I was about to say, <laughs> if he's 1v1 that D9 again, I would have been like, no way. Okay. Mammoth Swine's been, honestly, this Mammoth Swine is Mr. Worldwide. Everywhere I go, he's just, he's just there. He's in mid. He's in top lane. He's in bot lane. Anywhere where the Dragonite is, you best believe Mammoth Swine is there as well. Okay. Who's that just getting jumped? Is that the Wigglytuff? Pops the United stay alive. Well, Zorak is going to shut them down. Good Hoover pool. A9 on one HP. Trying to make it out. Okay, Blaziken's been taken out as well now. So we're going to X speed away. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the backshot king. That's one backshot. That's two backshots. Can we see any more? Okay, Pops the Unite move. Oh, we're going to whiff. Okay, manages to escape though. Good illusion by the, by the Zorak. Gets put to sleep by the Wigglytuff. Oh, but no one's there to confirm the kill. Sizzle's still alive. He turned his back on the Absol and Absol took complete advantage of that and took him out. This is why we call him the Backshot King. Don't turn your back on him. Okay. Who's that in the back lines? Don't tell me it's D-Knight. Okay, good. Well, front lines, sorry. I meant front lines. Okay, it was the Wiggly Tough. Okay, Hooper popped Unite before Ray. This is really bad. I don't know what Hooper was thinking popping that Unite move. D-Knight popping the Unite to reposition. TP back to base, maybe? That's a TP angle. We cool? He's re-engaging. And that's popping a Unite move as well. These are all before the Ray fight. Can A9 make it out? Absol's on 1 HP. The Backshot King, don't turn your back. Okay, A9 didn't turn their back, but he still got taken out. Absol getting the triple kill. Sizzle's there for the taking. He, he's asking for it. Absol, coming in. Okay, makes it out. He needs to wait for another sing. There it is, coming in. Okay, Absol. Oh, Sizzle takes him out. I know that Absol was looking for that sweet spot, but he couldn't quite find it. Okay, now Dina's coming in with the Outrage. Oh, Sizzle's looking like an absolute tank right now. Dragonite's basically healing him. He's doing negative damage. Dragonite's doing no damage. Okay, the CC from Slowbro helped so much. That Surf enabled them to take out the Sizzle. Okay, Dragonite does get taken out. I'm not too sure why they're not going into bushes and TPing back to base. Whoa, what's... Okay, I looked at the map and I was like, what the fuck is the um, Rayquaza doing? But it was a uh, Zoroark with Illusion. Okay. So Rayquaza about 25% health left. Zorak's been taken out. Sizzle's out as well. A92. Absol trying to take out Hooper before he can make it back into the base. I'm surprised that no one's attacking this. Oh my god. Blaziken's low HP. He can't even get in the pit. Overheat. Into eject button. Blaziken. That's free. That's free. Yeah. That's money. All day, every day. The moment I saw Blaziken charging that up and no one was targeting them, that was money. 
Okay, Zorok has a lot of work cut out for him. Disguising as a red buff. Can he take any... Can he break any shields? This is good damage. Oh, but Blaziken's shield is looking meaty. Okay. Blaziken can't push out. Ooh. Zorok? Okay, nice. That's two shields broken. Can they get a kill? Good stun by the A9. Okay, and Zorok confirms to kill. This is nice. Always team can still win. What's Dragonite doing? Okay, they're just picking up points. Okay. Ooh, Zorok could have went for them for more points, but I understand them just getting those dunks in because they want to guarantee. Okay, who's gonna win the exchange? Speedster versus Speedster. The focus band is gonna pop. Gets taken out. Okay, nicely done by the Absol. Sizzle, what's happening in bot lane? Pushing in with the A9. Pops that Unite move. Gets picked up by the Telekinesis. Nine tails. Unfortunately, gets <laughs> gets um pushed away by the jump pad. That was definitely unintentional. Popping the Unite move. Strobo honestly wasting their time with these Telekinesis into the surf. And there's Wiggly Tough putting the sizzle to sleep. Honestly, this has been quite a fun game to spectate. Slowbro hitting all of these telekinesis has been the highlight for me. And that's going to be GG's for the second game. Okay, and there's the stats for the second game. Dragonite getting MVP because he did dunk the most points. Getting 285 dunks. Only getting 4 kills though. Let's take a look at the damage. I predict it's going to be like 40. Okay, 53, got 53k damage. Did better than he did last game, but still didn't really make a difference this match. I know that he got invaded by the Mammoth Swine, so that did, you know, um, set him back quite a bit. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Does this Dragonite deserve Masters? And if they don't, where would you put them? And also let us know why you think they don't deserve Masters. But champions, take care. Make sure if you want to be in if you want to be involved in any of these videos, all you have to do is join the Discord. Link to that will be in the description. But take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.